Let's learn about the concept of a kaladogram. Kaladograms are diagrams that show evolutionary relatedness between species based on shared characteristics. This is an example of a kaladogram because this diagram is showing what characteristics two species are going to share between each other, which helps us chart out evolution. Now, it's important to know what a clade is when talking about kaladograms. A clade is a common ancestor and all of its descendants. So you can see this common ancestor and all of its descendants, and this common ancestor and all of its descendants. However, these two are not clades, because in this kaladogram, this organism is not being included in this clade. So this is technically not a clade. Neither is this because this line is being included, so this is not technically a clade. Now, when we talk about cladograms, we have two different types of traits. Ancestral traits are traits that are common because of a common ancestor, and they're usually shared between the larger group. So all of the organisms A, B, C, and D are going to have this ancestral trait. However, the more useful trait are called derived traits. These are traits that are not common due to a common ancestor, which means they evolved along the way, and they're just more useful to differentiate species. For example, this blue trait is unique to D because it evolved on that lineage. So species A, B, and C are not going to have this unique derived trait. Now, sometimes in cladograms, they include something called the outgroup. The outgroup is not going to fit into a particular clade or in-group. This helps us kind of sort out what a grouping of a clade is.